With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So in, in this question we have been given that mod a vector is equals to 13 and mod b vector is equals to 5 and a vector dot b vector is 60 and we have to find magnitude of a vector cross b vector okay so here we have been given that a vector dot b vector is equals to 60 degree okay as you know that a vector dot b vector can be written as so this will be equal to mod of a vector okay mod of b vector into cos theta so as you know that mod a mod a vector is given as 13 and mod b vector is given as 5 so that means we can write this as 60 equal to mod a that is 13 into 5 into cos theta so cos theta comes out to be 60 divided by 13 into 5 so this will be 5 times of 12 is 60 so this will be 12 by 13 okay so cos theta is 12 by 13 now according to the formula of sin square theta plus cos square theta that is equals to 1 sin theta can be written as under root of 1 minus cos square theta that will be equal to under root of 1 minus 12 by 13 whole square okay equal to under root of so this will be equal to so after taking LCM LCM would be 169 and the numerator it will be 169 minus 144 this is equals to under root of so 169 minus 144 is 25 divided by 169 okay so under root of this will be 5 by 13 so sin theta is 5 by 13 now mod of a vector cross b vector is given by the formula that is mod of a vector mod of b vector into sin theta okay so this will be equal to so a vector is given as 13 and b vector is given as so basically these are mod of a vector and mod of b vector so these are given as 13 and 5 okay and sin theta is 5 by 13 so this is equals to now 13 gets cancelled out and 5 times of 5 is 25 so this is our required answer and this completes our solution for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.